that it happened so fast already. Let's get to it. I was afraid we needed to endure this pain a bit longer. It's 4 am actually I should be sleeping, instead I'm grinding and watching the channel. Ah, How are you doing? Welcome. Get some sleep later though, bro. The grind can wait, don't worry. Also, it's not that hard of a grind, so... Don't need too much time for it, don't worry. But good morning. Or, yeah, actually good morning for you as well. Even though more like... Good late night. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need to sleep. Worst case scenario, you get fired for not throwing. Grind away. <laughs> Grind away! <coughs> oh god, sorry. <laughs> Sleep is overrated while the warships is eternal. <laughs> no, I mean not Profile really. Profile underscore one <coughs> just but, subscribed. Yeah, anyway. Profile, thank you for the sub three months in a row. Already. Instantly. Thank you so much. Let's see there's only Def A that slot, yes. Otherwise I would take Hydro. If you have the choice between Def A and Hydro, you should always go Hydro. Always. Not a single reason to take Def A over it. Thank you, Profile. That means a lot to me. Thank you so much. Enemy force sighted on the horizon. By the way, look at that chip. We go 37 knots Engine and now I activate speed activated. boost. And we can go 40.2. 40, 40 I've been drawing your YouTube videos, learning a lot. Thank you. Welcome to the live action. Good. Um, anyway, let's see what we can do. Oh, Jinan player. Hello? No turning? No turning? Okay. If you don't turn, you get overmatched. Although I don't think there was enough lead. Or? No, it was enough lead. Just in the back of him. Ah. Well, now he's committed. So I guess I see there's a little victory anyway. Gotta watch out for battleship shooting us here. But it doesn't look like nobody's aiming at us. Beautiful. Come on, reload, 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 reload. Woohoo! <clears throat> oh man, you are in for a rough ride. Dude, these shells are really slow. I didn't remember them being that slow. <laughs> if you were in a Yama or Shiki, it would be duff that Jinan. Yeah, but that's because you overmatch 32. You literally can't angle against them. Like, yeah, it's the same with Austin. Austin just goes poof against 32 instantly. Oh, that's gonna be a new, that's gonna be a juicy overmatch on the deck on Yoshino, though. I would say 15k. Oh, only one hit? What? That's still 5k, but still. Let's burn down that Preussen player. There's a shit from ton of trolls coming, yeah, but here. He cannot hit me here with the island, in a way. So we're safe in that department. And he also launched, launched another set there, okay, interesting. That should be a fire on Preussen. Maybe two? No, one. Oh, that was, that was a lot of damage, that was 10k. He instantly damaged Gond. Classic. <coughs> I plan to shoot AP now, but since the instant damage went, we're gonna go for one more salvo. And then it should be perma fire if we land enough. And don't get too unlucky. Looks good, looks good. Oh, perfectly in the middle. And maybe we get two even. Nope, but we got 11k and a perma one. Attention, reporting a target's position. All stations, reporting the position of a strategic target. I can't really hit him at the moment, that's a bit annoying. Now we can turn. Alvaro, hello. Fire. Also, you can see already, Kamikaze, how accurate these guns are, right? Look. 
Ooh. <laughs> Dude, if that would have been HG, we could have maybe even killed him. What's your favorite battle trip? Illinois. <coughs> Illinois and Mecklenburg. Funny, right? How the smaller caliber will be some fun. Maybe because it's literally like a cruiser, but tank insanely tanky. I guess that's why I like them so much. Because I love cruiser Daka. But I love battleship tankiness. And see, see guys, <coughs> now it looks like I lost a lot of HP, but remember, if you look at my HP bar, what I can heal, look what we effectively only lost. Crazy, right? Vincent is such a powerhouse. He's gonna turn, so this should land perfectly on him. Oh man, that's gonna be a juicy salvo. Oop! And... Fire! We're also gonna turn in here with our next salvo because Jinan probably torped in here. Also, that Poison player is a legend and damage count again. One fire. You prefer Borgon over Mechlurk? That's totally fine. Borgon is an amazing ship. <laughs> Bro, this is why you don't damage con if you cannot go dark against the Vincent. Now oh, you got two of them. And he doesn't even have fire prevention. Oh god. That means maybe you're gonna get a third one as well. Oh, he's in the way. I wanted to launch just maybe we can get a hit on him. On Jinan. The enemy team has taken the lead. <coughs> Burger is an amazing ship. Yeah, Burgundy is also an amazing ship. <coughs> I agree, but I just prefer Mecklenburg. But don't get me wrong, Bogoni is amazing. I'm not questioning that. Also, Preussen is gonna go down. Down. Jinan is also gonna go down. No, You're not gonna get them, boys. And Preussen is still alive. Oh no. I think we're gonna get poison though with one pen. Yeah, this gun should hit. And then he's gone. Unless he heals now. Nah, he's gone. <coughs> we also got Arsonist, a kill, and assisted in the cap. Nice. Now there is no big torpedo threat left. And we can slowly play it a bit more aggressive. Engine boost deactivated. Should I go Ohio or Illinois? I would al always have said Ohio, but since Illinois is now there, it depends. You want a tier 9 credit farmer, then go Illinois. If you want a tier 10 for, for example, ranked and so on, maybe get um, Ohio. We're gonna wait here, boys. We're not spotted. We have no real reason um, to wait. give away our position for now. <clears throat> what we're gonna wait here is until Conqueror is turning, which he will in a second. Always fully committing. I'm not sure. But we're only gonna open up once we're spotted. Perfect. Now Conqueror is opening up, which gives us this flat broadside, and we can sit at him. Or get massive amount of AP damage if we're unlucky, but that's still pretty good. No crossfire on us possible, Schlieffen is too far away. And we're gonna focus down that Conqueror player now, boys. He's gonna be our priority target. I'm gonna go for the upper belt, because he is slightly angled. And we won't get citadels like this, but still massive amount of damage with the upper belt. <coughs> if my team pushes now on the other flank, which they probably will, a bit more, we should be good here. Now this was a switch quite late, <coughs> but we're actually getting into brawling areas, and I want to smack that Conqueror player completely. We have a heal ready if everything goes wrong. And we should have the Conqueror player here. Yes, good. Now we're gonna heal. Why do I heal now? Because Smolensk probably torped, and it's too risky if we would take now two or three torps. 
Also, we're gonna slow down because once Smolens is dead, we can go dark again. But yeah, we're slowing a bit down because we're losing a lot of HP right now. Concentrate fire on the designated target. Gotta watch how that grenade is not focusing me down as well. We have our damage gun still ready for a potential new fire of Smolens. Now we're gonna sw stick to AP. Good. Smolens did a massive mistake here. Instead of just... Ow, okay, that was unlucky. Instead of just going dark, we might actually die here because of that big kit Luciana got. Um, we're gonna go down. Yeah, that's a bit unlucky. That massive hit that Luciana just got killed us. Problem solved, sir. Four? No, okay, good. We actually got lucky and unlucky at the same time. But anyway, what I wanted to say is, Molens did a massive mistake here. Because he smoked up instead of kept me spotting, so we can survive this. We're really unlucky and lucky at the same time. Unlucky because Ted Luciana's mech was quite brutal from the front. Lucky because we're still alive. Whew! He's probably gonna be really molding now that he didn't get me here. Victory is in sight. Yeah, that's one thing you need to take <coughs> into consideration. While your ship is super vulnerable when showing broadside, if angled, it's fairly tanky unless they get a perfect overmatchable shot, shot on your nose, which can always happen. Oh, he's not shooting me. Okay, then we can turn in. There's always a risk that they get a really good shot on your nose. You never know when exactly, but it can happen. And Luciana is rather accurate, so we should have stopped a bit earlier with the push. A tiny bit. I'm gonna switch to AP for the Yoshino. <coughs> nice weather, thank you. Hey, Abyss. How are you doing? Welcome, my friend. Oh wow, that was unlucky. Burger should be able to kill these Molens. I don't want to waste a shot on him right now because Yoshino is a better target for me. And with our overmatch capabilities... Okay, that's really bad dispersion, but with our overmatch capabilities, Yoshino can't really angle against us. Good, Smolens is gone. We broke 200k, nice. GG. Good game. Yeah, this is like my fourth progress. So you have an idea why I did which decision. And hey, Sadanek. At least one person liking it. I like it as well, honestly. It's super comfortable, and I don't care what people say about this weather. It's super comfortable. And that's what matters when you stream. Can we finish him off? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pop. Pop. Enemy battleship sunk. <gasps> you see no torps, you can easily dodge them. Activated. Okay, game. So. There's your Vincent, and now you know why it's such a good ship. <coughs> good heal, amazing guns. Technically torpedoes as well that hit like a truck, but we couldn't utilize them that much this battle, but Really good ship. AP amazing, HG amazing. The only thing you lose on the HG is the quarter pen You only have times six pen. Is it that? Yeah, times six or five? No, times six, I think so You lose a bit of pen, but you still have the amazing fire chance alpha and you have great AP Good, so Checking the team, GK, wow, well done.